Hi guys, hope you're well and welcome back and hello anyone that is new. My name is Ellis and today I'm sharing with you our old wives tale predictions. So for anyone that doesn't know me, I am pregnant with baby number three and we are yet to find out what baby number three is, if it's a boy or if it is a girl. And I thought it would be a fun thing to do some old wives tale predictions to see what they come out with basically. I've never done this on either of the boys, although I've done a couple of them mentioned, um, just like kind of looked in previous pregnancies at like what they say, what people say, like if you're more sick or if what you crave and things like that. But I thought I would do a full on old wives tale predictions to see what these come out with. So if you haven't already seen, I've already shared with you guys the Ramsey theory and the nub theory, which predicted the gender of our baby. And I actually had specialists do it as well as looking myself and seeing what I could predict. So they came out of a particular gender, but I thought I would do it and see what the old wives tales say about it all. So if you are interested to see what the old wives tales say our gender of our baby will be, then just continue to watch. Okay, so I'm hopefully gonna leave a little tally on either side of the screen so we can track boy or girl and what the score is at the end. And I'm gonna try and mentally do this some going through because I've not actually looked at this myself yet. Okay, so the first one is sweet versus salty. Now, I 100% this pregnancy have been craving all things sweet. In my previous pregnancies and in a pregnancy that I actually miscarried earlier in the year, I craved burgers straight away. Like the second I fell pregnant or even just slightly before, give me a Five Guys burger, I need it in my life, I need it in my belly, I need it right now. But this pregnancy has been so different. I've had major food aversions to meat. Oh, makes me feel sick. Um, chicken in particular, I can't even bear to go near. And I have been craving all the sweet goodness, all of the sweets, all of the chocolate, all of the donuts, which is completely different to my pregnancies with my boys. And the old wives tale says that if you are craving sweet stuff, then you are predicted to have a girl. <laughs> so that is one for the girls over here. Okay, the next one we're gonna do is morning sickness. Now with Clayton, I and this was one of the reasons why I thought Parker was a girl. So with Clayton, I was very, very heavily sick. So I thought he was a girl because the old wives tale goes that if you are more sick, then you are having a girl. So with Clayton, I was adamant he was a girl because I threw up morning, noon and night for the whole nine months of my pregnancy and in labor. Um, so I was adamant he was a girl, but he was a boy. And then with Parker, I was adamant he was a girl because I was just more nauseous. So I thought because my pregnancy was like opposite on the sick feeling, um, I only threw up a couple of times with him starting in the second trimester, I thought he was a girl. But based on this pregnancy, I have felt extremely nauseous, um, but yet to be sick. So based on that, the old wives tale goes that if you are having a girl, you are more likely to throw up and be sick. And if you're having a boy, then you will not. So that is one vote for boys. Okay, the next one is the pregnancy glow up. <laughs> now, the old wives tale basically says that during your pregnancy, you can go one of two ways. You can either have a beautiful pregnancy glow or you can break out. And the rumor or the old wives tale is, is that the baby, if it's a little girl, steals your beauty and therefore you are not so glowing. <laughs> so for me, this has been a bit hit and miss. Anyone that I see says, oh, you're glowing, you look amazing. Whereas I have never broken out this much in my life. Um, I have been spots galore. I don't really suffer with spots or acne or anything like that. I'm quite lucky in that department. And I haven't really suffered like this in previous pregnancies either. But this pregnancy, I have 100% broken out more um so for me that would have to be another vote for the girls <laughs> okay the next one is your partner's weight gain so this one says as the old wife's tale goes if your partner is gaining weight alongside you also known as sympathy weight this could be a sign that you're carrying a girl um now i don't really think adam's gained weight alongside me but i haven't gained weight I'm yet to put on any weight whatsoever. So even this far in, I'm yet to gain. So I don't really know what this one. I would probably have to say 
Well, I don't know. I don't know if this one's just a null and void answer. What would you guys say? Let me know if you think this one tips the scales, but I think considering he's not really gaining weight, because I'm not gaining weight, I don't really think I can use this one to judge as an old wives' tale. Next up is Moody versus Mellow. And this one basically says, if you're feeling more moody than mellow, you might be having a girl. If you're more chilled out, legend has it, you should get ready for a boy. Now, mood wise, again, I don't, I think I've been in quite good spirits, to be quite honest with you. Um, as it goes in terms of pregnancies, I'd probably say this is one of my easiest pregnancies yet. I did have quite a bit of bad back pain. And I am gonna be doing a first trimester symptoms video, which I will share with you all shortly. I don't really think I've been that moody or hormonal. Adam would probably say otherwise. <laughs> but I do think I've just been around average. So I am going to say this one would be one for Mellow. Over to the boys. Okay, the next one is called the eye test. Never heard of this one before. It says, look in the mirror for about a minute. If your pupils are dilating, it means you're having a boy. <laughs> now, I don't know whether whether the lights are going to put this on, but let me have a look. I wonder if I look in my phone for about a minute, it will do the same. Should we give it a go? Let's have a look. Okay, I see no dilation. So, this would mean it's one for the girls, because it only means it's one for the boys if your pupils are dilating. So, another one for the girls. So, next up we have carrying high versus low. Now, I have been carrying quite high this pregnancy, actually a lot higher than I think I've ever carried before. And I literally feel like everything is squashed inside me. It is utterly ridiculous. Like I can't believe how compact I feel um, and everything like that. So I have been carrying quite high. So this one basically says, according to pregnancy law, carrying high means you're having a girl, carrying low means it's a boy. So this would be another one for the girls. So the next one is the heart rate. Now it says during your next ultrasound, pay attention to your baby's heart rate. If the little ticker is beating faster than 140 beats per minute, get ready for a girl. Now I know with both of my boys, they've beated faster than 140. Um, and I know that this baby, I believe, did as well. So according to the old wives tale, this would be another one for the girls, but mm, I don't know how much I believe that. Okay, the next one is the Chinese gender chart. And I'm pretty sure, again, this is incorrect for both my boys. I will double check um, now. But this one basically believes that the month of conception and then the month you conceived along with your age at conception will predict your gender of your baby. So with the boys, I'm just going to do it just for fun. But with the boys, my age at conception with Clayton was 20. And he was conceived in the March. So that would have predicted him to be a girl and he was a boy. Um, with Parker, I was 23 at the age of conception. And he was born in June. So that would predict him to be a boy. So that would be correct. With this baby, I was 28 at the age of conception. And I conceived in the May or the June. I think it was the May. Let me just check, one sec. Okay, I would have conceived in June. So, 28 and conceiving in June, we'll put this one as a boy as well. So if this one is correct, then it means two out of my three were correct as of the gender chart for uh, the Chinese gender chart. So this one predicts boy. Okay, so the next one that we have is about sleep. And supposedly, if you sleep more or less, can decipher whether you are having a boy or a girl. So I would say in this pregnancy, I have definitely been sleeping less. I'm generally not a good sleeper anyways, but I've just been so uncomfortable the whole way through. So this one predicts that, um, apparently, you can forget not being able to sleep during pregnancy if you're expecting a little girl. Instead, you'll sleep Apparently you can forget not being able to sleep during the pregnancy if you're expecting a little girl. Instead, you'll sleep like a baby. So this one would shoot over to the boys. And with all that being said and done, that concludes the old wives' tale gender predictions. And what were the final results? 
that came out and said that we would be having a go. So apparently the old wives tales have predicted that we are having a girl. Um, which if you've watched my previous videos, I would definitely recommend you heading on over and taking a look would fall very in line with what other things have said, but I'm not sure how much I believe some of these things, just because based on previous pregnancies, they've not been quite the same. But you know, you never know. <laughs> we will find out very soon. So guys, if you have enjoyed watching this video, then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new, as I'd love to have you over here for all things baby related cleaning finances motivation and christmas coming up very very soon in the upcoming months as well as fall and all that good stuff and i will see you all in another video very shortly bye guys i'm thinking of you i'm thinking of you i'm thinking of you wondering if you're thinking about me too now it's too late now it's too